Welcome back to Pathologic 2. Once again, I'm playing this game super late, about 11 p.m. for me, because it's Pathologic, and I feel incredibly compelled to play. Last episode, we finished up exploring all of the caches after being invited to the great game. All the caches that might have been related to the murder that's supposedly taking part in the game as well. Now it's 1.30 in the morning, already watched the play, visited the dead item shop and got nothing because I didn't have enough to get anything, not even a single bullet. Now it's time to sleep a bit. I do want to go over to Salva's place before the beginning of the next day at 7.30, but I'm going to take the boat down here, so should be able to sleep and make it there pretty easily. Let's take a morphine. Ironically, now that I've used that morphine, I have enough broken ampules to get something, at least a bullet from the dead item shop. 3, 4.30, that'd be good. I'm trying to think if I should do 3 or 4 hours. Let's do 3. Is this the dream about Nara? Oh no, it's the dream about the door in the 8th. I think you can only speak with one or two of them before you have to go through the door. You can't speak with all of them, and I think before I spoke with Taya. So let's speak with someone else. Mm. Grace. Must you tread the earth with your feet? Don't be afraid. We're all on the same side for now, aren't we? Wait a second. Why is your name Bra Braz Taglor? What did Taglor mean again? It's a term we've heard before, but I don't remember what it means. Huh. Why are they not just called Grace? What is there to be afraid of? We're all grateful to you. We know protecting us isn't easy, but you still do it. You make sure we live. There are seven of you, but there was an eighth on the list. Where is he? Here, for now. He's the Uderg. I can't see him. You think you can't see the eighth because you're looking the wrong way, but he's here. It's fortune he's still on this side. Why? Because he's the Uderg. If he lives, so do we. If he begins to die, so will we. The town. How do you know that word? I think before I opened it from this side, the back. Hey, what the heck? I didn't notice those kids up there before. It's those two ones from the polyhedron. Whoa, I can talk with them. Thrush. Why linger? Don't get sidetracked. You have a duty. You have the list. Go back. Who are you? We're watching, observing. No time for games now. We must watch. Watch what? Which of them will enter the door first? I think we'll be the older girl, not the boy in a collar. Relax, I'll go first. This is so strange. Yeah, those are the same two people that I think talked to me later. Like near the end of the game in the last playthrough saying it's a good thing you're blowing up the tower. It's a thorn in our side. It's also the two that are watching me in the intro of the game when it's day 12. And they're just kind of staring at me all creepy. In an area where I can't even get to them. Just staring. Most of the exhaustion's gone. That's good enough. Han barely leaves the new building across the river. I can't reach him. Apart from the seven kids, there was an eighth on the list. Uderg. An Uderg, perhaps? Yes, perhaps the Uderg is an Uderg. 
true or what is it? So I've got three and a half, or no, two and a half hours. That's plenty of time. Let's eat some food. Uh, I guess I want to eat the big stuff first. Let's eat the canned food. Ooh. Nice. Although the noise that makes is disgusting. Just sounds like slop. I like to check and make sure I actually still have these items, you know. Is it worth eating an egg? Actually, my hunger's so low, I don't think it is. I'm gonna put that back. You have dark circles under your eyes. Um, I'm going over to my base. When I take the boat, before I go to Saba's. So actually, I want to try to take as much food with me as possible. Let me do that. Okay, I dropped a really crappy lockpick to make room for two fresh meats, five smoked meats, and two smoked fish. That's a good amount of my food. Yeah, let's go. It's going to have a pretty long travel time, unfortunately. Not as bad as I thought, 35 minutes. Definitely time to go to my base and drop off stuff there before I go to Sala's place. Ah, Nara's here. I'm sorry about your loss. Still, think bright thoughts. Earth takes her due, but gives in kind. Have you now remembered me? Do you remember our connection? Ah, it's you, Pasagan. I'm all yours, Herr Hen. What is your name? So you don't remember at all? <laughs> it's like his art to me was just lying then. Damn it. No, I honestly don't. This is what you told me once. I often dream of salt, either its taste or color, or whole salt pits, or holding some in my pinched fingers. Do you believe me now? Wait, it can't be. Eneshe Yun Hun Geshebshi. But you're not heartless, however cruel. I won't leave you. I hold no grudge against you. Just mind this. When you finally remember, when you realize why you need me, do not hold a grudge either. Promise? I'm not the type to hold grudges. Don't send me away. We are bound, you and I. I am yours. Remember that, at least. All right, I'll remember. It's extra sad knowing that I'm going to almost certainly have to kill them. Unless, I mean, we never really knew whether she stayed alive after I did that, but she said you're going to have to kill me one day. But then the people, the people around Nara said, let's see if you're a real, like, men who, if you really know the lines, if you can do this without killing her. So, like, I'm not actually sure, to be honest. I don't know whether we killed her or not. Never saw her again. Alright, let me dump my inventory. Oh, right, hold on. I can upgrade my inventory, can't I? Uh, will it count the cloak that I'm wearing as a crafting ingredient, or does it have to be in my inventory? Yeah, yeah, we're good. Oh, hell yeah. Ah, that feels so good. Ah, I've got some more grindstones and uh, chisels now, so let's get my knife up to max. Yeah, maxed out knife and a maxed out scalpel. Nice. This doesn't need to be repaired. It's barely, barely damaged. These are good. I actually repaired these off camera at some point, so they're maxed out. Excellent. At Sapa's place. Sapa will teach us. She knows the way. She speaks to Earth. Mother Bodo talks to us through her. What will she teach you? She knows our traditions. We have long been oppressed. Now we face extinction. We forget our language, our crafts and arts. The art of talking to Earth. The language of herbs, the craft of lines. She advises well. What advising do you need? Not a simple one.
This is a hilarious option. Uh, that wasn't an offer, by the way. Uh, I'm a bad advisor. Goodbye. Oh, wait. Now I am about to advise? Alright. I have a question for our mother. There is little time left before it all ends. When it happens, would I be allowed to spare the lives of those who trusted me and called themselves friends? Would I be allowed to not kill them? Yes. I want to ask Saba, will our brothers and sisters be allowed to marry? The kin are, well, kin. We're all children of Bodo, and there's so few of us left. Uh, let's not do that. Marry the townsfolk, that's the only way to survive. We're too different. No, you're not. But that doesn't matter. When the kin swallow the town, there will be neither wives nor children. And you'll become the kin's last generation. Oh right, they're dying. I would ask mother about self-sacrifice. She said we must sacrifice everything for our fellow kin as we prepare to flood the town. I gave everything I had, even my own entrails. Now I'm dying. Did I make the correct decision? What for? I will tell it to Saba. It's a long story. I should save my strength. Uh, you did good? Sure. Mm-hmm. Bite Haran, you're back. What say you? Who are you? Have you forgotten our faces already? We asked you for help. We wanted to be let into the warrens. Ah, right. I've got nothing to tell you. What about our money? Uh, I mean, I tried. Do I even have the money? How much, I don't know how much money do I have. Uh, here it is. Have it back. I guess I had the money. Ah, Saba's reflection. She drinks a lot of milk. What do I care? No one knows how she became herself. Suspicion and fear surround a tale of one who left the steppe. She is said to be inhuman, a doll of clay and bone, Shabnak Adig. Yeah, right. My master waits for her assigned time. Five years ago, during the first outbreak, Earth cast her with a secret task that must have been must have been fulfilled back then. Are you saying that the first outbreak was curbed by her father, however? With vicious force, he changed the flow of history. And Saba Uspte, Saba Otun, the one called Aspidi by common folk, stayed behind within this world. A groomless bride, a blemish, lost, estranged from her true goals. Believe she owes her life to Isidore, who made her, who foresaw her. Yeah, I'm trying to still wrap my head around exactly what this means. So my father made her. The first outbreak was curbed by her father, however. And that's why... I think it's saying that's why Saba stayed behind in this world, because the first outbreak was curbed, implying that if it wasn't curbed, she would have left this world? Estranged from her true goals. What do you mean made her? What nonsense is this? She feigns humanity quite well, and holds respect and power in the kin. She rules over this hiding place, where step folk can find escape from being yoked with an Olgimsky's cruel mill. Here they can hide and heal and run their midnight markets. Are there many such step people? Enough. Enough to flood the town. There will be blood. Your father, whom she worships without understanding, meant the kin to merge into the town to make a body whole. But we cannot and will not. So she decides to adjust the town to the needs of the kin. She brokers work for brides and odongs, setting them up as dancers or 
couriers. One wonders why. She doesn't know what she's doing. Indeed, she's not human after all, but love does drive her like it drives you. And love is blind and foolish. Not human. Right. I'll try to accept that. Yargachin. Emshen. Eseger. I see you plainly. Earth warms your roots, Emshen. Who are all these people, Saba? What do they want? They respect me, you see. I know not the lines, but I sense Earth. I speak to them on her behalf. They believe I'm made of soil like Shabnak Adig, although they don't call me that. So you were like a religious teacher to the kin. Did father know? No. I shielded him from this. Remember, it was I who loved him. I was not loved in return, for he regretted me coming into being. I reminded him of his bitter sin. What sin? The first outbreak. Do you know how old I am? I first awoke five years ago when it happened. There were many dead, and many of the dead were of our people, the Hatonge. The crude sprawl is a poor district. It seems like they're just openly admitting that they're not human? I don't... I don't think they've done that before, my other playthrough. I first awoke five years ago. I mean, I guess that doesn't necessarily mean they're not human, but... I mean, they're five years old. It's a little bit weird, don't you think? But what were you shielding him from? From what is about to happen. Hatange want blood. He was a kind man. He needed not to know of his people's anger of how he himself stoked that fury. They would never hurt him for what he had done. He was too venerated. But they will take it out on the town. So you're all plotting rebellion? I teach the truth of the kin to these people. I retell our old legends. I remind them of Bodo's will, of how the world is a body. I hear the earth and speak her will for them. I make sure they know where they came from and where they're going. A sick people, a weak people needs this. Our future hangs by a thread. Why were they asking me then and not you? I knew that would happen. You've done well following the lines. You think so? My answers were not the same you would have given them. They believe they come here for advice. False. They have long since made up their minds. Now, only their weakness sows doubt in them. We take on the burden of that doubt. Whatever we tell them, they'll do what they think is right. So we're removing their doubt. Hmm. Just by basically saying, yeah, you did the right thing. Hmm. Is that your idea of help? They are helping us, not the other way around. The question matters, not the answer. To the listener, not the speaker. They carry their own stories. You carry yours. Such is the truth of the lines, Tonger. The truth of the earth. I disagree. Kind of a weird place to end the conversation, but... Yep, I disagree. Goodbye. Again, I want to emphasize that I'm trying to play an art to me that's going to try to do all they can to save Mother Earth and the kin and the wonders and everything. But I do think Aspidy's misguided. So I'm not going to hesitate to push back on them. Okay, uh, I'm going to go to Grace's place. Even though I probably can't do anything. Remember, they did say that they weren't strong enough to do anything to talk with my father. Come back later. There's no marker on the map, so I'm figuring... I don't know. Maybe come back later meant another day, or maybe it's just a weird quest. But let's try.
Yeah, I can't do anything. What a weird quest. Just the way it's worded and the way it works out. Okay. Well, I'm pretty good on exhaustion, hunger, just waiting for the next day to start. I think I should brew some tinctures and pick some herbs. Yeah, let's do some early morning herb picking. Alright, gathered a bunch of herbs, and I'm all ready to craft. I've got all my water bottles here. I have 32. That's amazing. Full stack of blood, full stack of black, and I, I have some extra stored away as well. Two ash and swish. Only 10 brown, because I sold all the other ones I had. Uh, I don't know why I grabbed the other block of blood. And almost a full stack of swivery. I guess I'm just going to make all of the swivery. Well, maybe not all of it. Because I'm limited by water. How many tinctures can I have in a single stack? Probably either five or ten. Well, I'll make I'll make ten of the swivery. Nope. And then I can use any color I want. Let's go with blood. Yeah, does it, uh, yep, yeah, you can keep going, about five. Probably stacks up to ten, then. Let's do the Ashen Swish, let's switch over to black. Alright, ten Medral Plus, my god, that is a thing of beauty. Two, zero, plus. And unfortunately I can't make any Yas Plus, of course, I don't... I don't think that's even possible until the plague starts. I think it has to come from a plague zone. The white whip. But I can make some basic ones. So Zir is what? Zir is brown and black. God, this feels so satisfying. And then Yas is it brown also. Brown and blood. So I'm going to be limited on this one by how much brown I have. And there we go. And we're one minute away from the start, the full, full start of day three. That is fantastic. Of course, I don't have any antibiotics at all, so... These aren't that much use yet, but they're going to come in handy later. Day three in which the alarm bell tolls. Yep. Infection is officially starting today. I'm a little bit hungry. Let's have some smoked fish. Uh, just the one, I think. Let's take these water bottles. Let's split them. I don't need that many. I just want some for drinking. Okay, what do we have here? Home is where your friends, your... Oh, Toglor. That's a friend, so... Grace was called Burah's friend. So I should go check on them. Is this when they request the water? No, no, of course not. They don't even know the plague has started. And Reuben is still an idiot. I think this is where we start the quest to round up everybody for a meeting, all of our old friends. Yeah. And it's the only thing marked right now. Messenger? The Bose has an urgent matter to discuss with you, Master Burra. It concerns your family home. I think if I say this, it'll just kind of transport me there. That's fine, I guess. Let's go right now. Wait, is it not transferring me? Mm -hmm. I guess not. All right. Hey, buddy. What's up? No hair? Goodbye, partner. Mm, well, I was going to take this boat up to Lara's place, but... That doesn't make any sense now, I suppose. Let's just run there. You know, I think I remember there being a cache here in the warehouse district, back here. 
Right. Yeah. No. Shit. Oh man, it was tucked away behind something, but I don't remember exactly where. Oh, I could waste a lot of time searching for it. It's probably not worth it. Ah, right. People are trying to almost break down the door, I guess. Well, let's be honest, they don't make any attempt on the door, but they're waiting for Big Vlad to come out to beat him to a pulp. Which apartment are you from, pal? Cutting? Trying to reach Big Vlad? That fat pig refuses to come out. Refuses even an explanation. Bloodsucker. What happened? The factory shut down two days ago, didn't you know? I mean, yeah, there's this soot problem. But when will it run again? How many of us will find themselves on the streets? Will anyone pay us for the downtime, or will the payment be reduced? I can tell you right now, it's the latter. And that won't feed my children. Yeah. We want at least to be told what's going on. Why is the train not coming? Why did he cork up the termitary? I'll tell you why. They want it all shut down. They're just looking for an excuse to close the factory. <coughs> Meow. There is no accident and the toxic soot is a lie, a cover, a crock of shit. Perhaps. Are you going to see the man yourself? Tell him we ain't leaving without an answer. More people will come. We'll stay here for as long as we have to. Let the hateful pig tell us the truth. All right, I'll tell him. It's clear. There's no water beneath the town. Perhaps my child is not such a fool. Kindred blood and all. Good thing you've come to visit, Master Bura. Right on time. Early bird gets the worm, indeed. The kinds plan to take away your house. Isidore is dead, God rest his soul and his heir is on the run. The decision will be made today. Hmm. Yeah, I have a memory of going to Sabarov about that. Oh no, wait, the it's the Kynes, sorry. I have some vague memory of like going to, I think Georgie, and then getting the, uh, like a, an order that I need to take to some place to get it ratified or whatever to make it law but then I, I guess I just didn't do it in time I think I think it had to be done really really early and I didn't realize that why are the kinds even involved as you should know the town is ruled by three families uh-huh I don't get it please explain why do they want my father's house the kinds see all houses, including yours, as cogs in a machine. They might decide to demolish it or do something else entirely. The late Simon Kine was close to your father. One could say they were friends. Opposites truly do attract. Yes, they do. Okay, it's a cog in a machine, so they want it. I think before I just said let them have it, it's a cursed place, fuck it. Uh... But this time, I think I want to fight for it. What do I do? Go see the judge, that is, Georgie Kine. With his brother Simon dead, he's in charge. Go to him and assert your claim. Hurry, Georgie wakes at dawn and never takes back decisions. That's just how he is. Thank you. Let's go say hi to Laura. And as always, make sure my stuff is still here. It is. If you tarry, you'll die unshriven. Oh, can't have that. Speak of the devil. You've started to like coming here, haven't you? Are you sure your boots won't wear down? Well, I missed you. Aren't you supposed to be terribly busy? I don't understand why you keep coming. Or do you need my help again? I'll wash your clothes. You're filthy, like a chimney sweep. Revolting. While they dry, have some sleep. That's fine, I couldn't do without your help, and I can leave if you don't want me here. I'm sorry, forget it. 
It's just that sometimes you feel all too poignantly that your life is over. You're not even 30, but you're done. Not dead, but burnt through, and there's nothing ahead for you. But what does it have to do with me? Nothing. Not now, anyway. It's just... It could have gone differently. Perhaps the four of us should meet today? Even bad grief? Like the good old days. Grief? We've no idea what Quagmire Grief has gotten himself in. And Stah? He's also done something awful. The judge is angry at him. You summoned him to the crucible for questioning. He's still there. What does it even mean, huh? Well, the three of you deserve each other. Let's gather together, huh? The four of us? I mean it. I'll arrange everything. Then again... Indeed. You're right. Let's do it. The four of us. Grief included. Today. The old place. The Apple Road, right? By midnight, as usual? Precisely. The Apple Road by the basket. Alright, now we just gotta invite everyone. I'm going to try to take almost all of my stuff from here, except for these lockpicks, all my food, leash, and I had two more stacks of water bottles in here. I didn't realize I left some behind. <laughs> it's pretty amazing, just how many I have. I guess I can make the rest of the swivery. Anyway, so time is kind of of the essence when it comes to my house, so... Oh, right, Ruben is here. That's why it's marked there. Um, let's take the boat down here and do both of these things. Let's go visit Ruben. And Maria Kena at the same time, maybe? Or I guess they're not here. You aren't cub anymore, Burach. Time to grow up. Well, I'm overjoyed to see you too. Forget it. Are you here about Simon's body as well? You're a bit late. I performed the autopsy on the same day. And on the next day, the body went missing. Maybe the two of us should go looking for it. I've already convinced the judge that it wasn't my fault. I am, after all, a patho-anatomist, not a guard. The kinds have enough people. They'll find it. So it's not our problem anymore. Actually, I actually came here looking for you. Why? We want to gather this evening. At the old place. By the basket? Yes. Touching. Bad grief included. Uh, I guess I'll just lie and say yes, because I'm going to invite them? Yes, he is. Heard you loud and clear. And now excuse me, but I need to prepare for a tough conversation. Just, oh, wait a second. Tell me. Reconciling everyone was, of course, Lara's idea. What did I answer to this before? It wasn't Laura's idea. Maybe I... Did I not remember whose idea it was? Well, now I definitely remember. It was my idea, actually. No, Stah. It was mine. I wonder if that changes anything. Hi. So, she was happy to see you, huh? But did you see her eyes? What are you doing here? I was looking for Reuben. He's upstairs waiting for you. No one enters this house uninvited. Get lost. And do not return unless summoned. Don't get cheeky with me, girl. I'm not something something. <laughs> As they push me out the door. Alright, let's go see about my house. Hello, Simon. All of this is an, an optical illusion. Oh, sorry. Victor. In reality, this town looks completely different. Can I help you? Are you the judge? The judge is in his workshop. What business brings you to him? I'm Isidore Burra's son. I'm here about our house. The workshop is in the right wing of the mansion. We're in mourning today, but I think he'll want to meet you. You seem troubled. Grief comes in spades these days. Who could have known the polyhedron will turn out this way? 
How did it turn out exactly? From the capital, we've summoned the Stamaton brothers, two architects. They've come forth with a bold project, a contraption that defies gravity. In the capital, they were ridiculed. We thought differently, and so we granted them this opportunity. As you can see, the polyhedron soars. I sense a but. But the polyhedron took away our children. The tower fascinates them. Inside, they've built something like a sovereign country with my own son in charge. No one has any idea how to make them leave. Why have you let them in? My brothers, Simon and Georgie, insisted that we have to let children play. In a way, I agree with them. This is why we kinds create all these buildings, after all, to change people. And it doesn't matter to you if they change people for the better or for worse, does it? No, it's just that the tower does something to them. They don't explain this to outsiders, but I think it materializes illusions. Some sort of optical effect. Vibrations, too, of course. Simon was adamant that we do not hinder the children in any way. Claimed this was the entire reason for the construction. But I want my son back. What's his name? Kaspar. Kids call him Han. He's their leader. I suppose, as his father, I should be proud. Han. Wait. He was among the children my father taught. Yes. He and your father spent a lot of time together last year. Simon and Isidore gathered some kind of coterie of children, ones they, had, ones they had special hope for. I didn't have enough time to grasp the things those two taught our children. I see. I'd like to speak to Han, if you don't mind. Well, they do come out from time to time, less often than I'd like. Abandon any hope of entering the polyhedron, though. They don't let adults in. I'm going to try anyway. Hello, Georgie boy. Everything is connected. Woven together, it forms a pattern in the great design. A human weaver who makes new connections cannot be ended by death. You're Artemy Bura. I am. About the house. Now, after I've seen you with my own eyes, I relinquish all claims I have on your property. The house is yours. Why'd you want our house in the first place? We kinds are a family of builders. We built this town. Every house adds something unique to its image. We... Let's say we keep track of this process. What did you have in store for my home? We would have examined it first. Its proportions. The taste of the space inside. Every house transforms everyone who spends more than five minutes within. Sometimes this transformation can be influenced or controlled. We have a great interest in these matters. Is that why you've built so many identical buildings? Exactly so. They're identical on the outside. We were interested in how much human presence could change them in return. It was an experiment in mirroring, a juxtaposition of natures. You want to ask me anything else? I do, but you seem busy. I'll ask it another time. I'm going to write a decree. Pass it to the prefect of the hindquarters district. Today, of course. Thank you. Okay, yes, this needs to be done really soon. I'm not sure what ended it before. Maybe the bell started going or something? You gotta get it done before the bell goes? That might be it. Um, yeah, let's just head over there then. Uh, I'll take this boat. Just heading over to where we have to pass the decree. Is something going on here, though? Yeah. Patrolmen. This district is locked down. Under Dr. Denkovsky's orders, these districts are off-limits to anyone but medical personnel. Are you that Varah guy? Now that's news. What's going on? Why is the area locked off? People say something happened at the factory, like an emission. Toxic soot in the air. Makes your eyes water in a minute. 
Wouldn't be smart to go in without protection. What kind of protection? Immunity boosters, two pills, protective clothes, one unit. Here you go. Thanks. Oh, right, they all got dropped. Shit. Uh, those are pretty good. Those are important. I'm super close to my home. I'm gonna go drop off my stuff. Alright, let's grab this stuff now. Oh, that's the only thing that fell? Just the boots? Alright, well, I'm glad I dumped this stuff anyway. Needed to do that. Well, mine are maxed on everything except the cloth mask I was just given. I'll keep that for later. Mm. Let's raise my immunity. That's good. Infected district. Just soot in the air. Mm hmm. Is this place even going to be operating given what's going on around here? <laughs> Is it going to be opened to the the hindquarters district prefect? Uh. Y'all got another door? Was there one out front that I missed? Whoa. Knockin' asks you to come by, Big Bear. Looks like our troubles hunt in packs. I don't remember this before. Did this happen last time? Oh, oh, oh god, is this the infected kid? What's going on? Yeah, one of our lads' patches came down with something nasty. Yep. Okay. Tell Knockin' I'm on my way. Can you make it three hours? Has until the evening. Okay. Ah, the place is open. Is everything going to be just like business as usual inside? Like, man, that's soot. <laughs> yeah, real. Oh, God. Real weird, that soot. Jesus Christ, this place is already fucked, and I hear the cloud of doom. See, I'm worried that at 12 o'clock is when the bell dings. I'm not sure exactly when it is, but if it is, I want to find this person before then. And then I'll loot this place or whatever. Get the fuck out of here. I don't think it makes moving ones disappear. Even if I manage to hand the paper to someone, like, what is it going to do? They're gonna die in no time or be quarantined in here, like, you know? <laughs> like, while a cloud of plague is coming for them, are they gonna just mail it off? This place has been picked clean, nothing more to loot. If you're feeling brave, check the neighboring houses. Maybe they have something left. Are you the prefect of this district? And the Flash? Uh, good. I was looking for you. As Isidore's son and heir, I claim our house. Here's a paper from the judge. That's a fancy paper indeed, but I'm afraid you won't be living in that house anytime soon. What do you mean? Haven't you been outside? The air is no longer fit to breathe. I heard there was a blowout at the factory yesterday. Must be the soot settling down, choking people to death. I don't think this stuff is soot. What is it then? Something contagious. Did anyone else stay behind besides you? The poor and the brave might still be around, trying to salvage what little they can. It was decided that doctors and medical personnel may take whatever they need, since they likely need more. You're a doctor too, as far as I know. 
and no one's going to object. If you manage to help someone in the end, they might thank you instead. I see. The townsfolk are running scared. The black stuff will dry a man's lungs in a second. I heard of several being dead already. Okay, uh, take the paper. Black stuff or no black stuff, the house is mine now. Yeah, so that's why even when I didn't do this, I mean, nothing happened and I, I like, the house was still mine? Because this isn't going to do anything and everything erupts in chaos anyway. No one gives a shit about paperwork to transfer ownership of a house or something. Anyone is free to take anything in the house that's contaminated by odd black smog. Just keep an eye on my immunity in unclean districts. Wearing protective clothes is advised. My rights to the house have been restored, I guess. <laughs> sure. So they said this place has been picked clean, so there's nothing here at all? Oh shit, they're dead. Oh, there's something here. Oh yeah, there's stuff here. Is this worth it? Is it worth it to loot this place? I feel like I have at least a little bit of time to loot this place. A lot of bloody bandages will be good for the dead item shop too. Food, you. There's actually a good amount of money in there. It's like 200. Usually you find just little tiny bits. Yeah, a lot of good dead item shop stuff. I'm also hoping for like a cloak would be nice. happy with all that loot. Let's get the hell out of here. Actually, there is a downstairs. There is a downstairs. Get out of here. Does this stuff have loot too, maybe? Yeah. That goes out. Thank you for the marbles. Died with nothing but marbles in their pocket. That's weird. Well, at least they went out in a memorable way, right? Okay, now let's leave. No, like, big item like, oh, a cloak or anything, but like a good amount of money. Lots of stuff at the dead item shop. Upgrade items, buttons, chalk, good trading things. Yeah. Pretty good, actually. Didn't take me that long, either. Only like a half hour, maybe? Okay. Let's get over to Knockin's place. We, we gotta treat that kid. We know. <laughs> I know, unless something can magically be different, which is unlikely, I know in the last playthrough I treated them successfully and they still died. So... Yeah. Unless, wait a minute. What if I give them a schmouter? Can I give them a schmouter? Then they'll surely live. Oh, that'd be interesting. Ah, Saba's outside of the kid's place. Right, there. I think they warned me, like, you're not ready for this. You'll take his fate into your hands and he will die. You're not a doctor, I am. You're not a healer yet. Then let this be a learning experience for me. Move aside. I can take care of my... Uh, we'll see now if I can heal or not. I think doing this successfully proves that I'm a menhu, right? 
I think. Alright, well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, I'm going to treat this kid, and if I can use the miracle to guarantee that they stay alive, I'm going to do it. I'm really curious what that would do, and I want the kid to live. <laughs>